came up behind Keftamania's concept was uh, pretty much my mom made the most amazing kaftas in, uh, in the family. Or a lot of people know that as my mom being the best cook. So I approached my mom and told her, hey, here's an idea. Why don't we do it? I uh, haven't seen a kafta truck around in D.C. or Arlington or a real Mediterranean food. Um, and came up with the idea of kafta mania. Well, I was a stay-at-home dad. And my wife, she worked for a nonprofit organization. And she got a health scare and decided she wanted to do something that she wanted to do for herself from now on. And at the same time, that got me a job because it was a pretty tight market at the time. My wife came up with the concept. She, she's Guatemalan, and empanadas are a part of Latin culture. And there was no other mobile empanada business around at the time when we first started. And it just seemed like the right thing to do. A very good friend of mine, Missy Carr, who owns Go Fish, um, got started about two years ago. And she needed some help, and I've been staying at home with my kids and it was a perfect opportunity for me to help her out but she's also a uh, chef a trained chef and was uh, did have a storefront a couple years ago recession hit she had to close down and this was a perfect opportunity for her to start something new without putting a lot of money into it I am very excited about food truck Fridays our family loves them so we're here most Fridays we definitely hear a buzz about food truck Fridays um, particularly during the year during soccer season because a lot of uh, the kids have practices on Friday nights and I actually coach my daughter's soccer team and so Fridays happen to be a great day after having soccer practice for all of us to show up uh, and get food <laughs> and not have to cook. Right. It just, it, I mean, it feels like you went to a French restaurant or a, or a French bistro and got steak frites and uh, a great arugula salad, and yet I picked it up in the parking lot of Trove and brought it home, so it's awesome. Uh, some of our neighbors have talked about it and mentioned that they like to come up here. Um, so yeah, at least a little bit, there's been a buzz about it. I can't really remember which trucks I, I like the best because it, I think every time we've come up, it's a different set of trucks. And that's one of the things we really like about it is the variety. Today, right now, I'm having the empanadas and I'm having cheer wine. One of the reasons we What's like that? cheer wine is a soda that you can't get in very many places, and we really like it. And one of the few places we can get it is from these trucks. I love about food uh, food truck culture meeting people uh, different personalities I'm a people's person I love being out there I'm funny at least I think I am I make myself laugh so that's always a good thing um, but it, it's definitely the customers the smiles that they get on their face after they eat uh, my sandwich the tweets that I get um, people uh, yelping uh, Facebooking uh, Instagramming our pictures of our food it's just uh, surreal it's phenomenal uh, it's, it's a great bunch of people uh, you know, that work on the other food trucks and the people that come to our truck every day to purchase food. It's, it's very satisfying. Everybody's very nice, happy. Everybody's happy that we're coming to see them, especially in Montgomery County where a lot of these office parks don't have any um, offerings, food offerings. And they, just, everybody's just pretty nice and happy and you get a lot of repeat customers. Um, we have a lot of families that come out, and it's a real family, nice community, nice community atmosphere. Um, and again, everybody's really happy to see us.